music. They like of the music. And then 6048 and Carne Dio Nostro 6052. Here we can write the question in our mind. He would die in 6049. How is it possible that he write down the word Carine Dio Nostro in 6052? Because it published after the death of Richard Cashew in 1649. But we have said it was written before his death and it was published later on. And it, this work was after his death. And that's why this work is known as Posthumous. That work is a Posthumous day that published after the death of the poet or writer. That work in English it is called the Posthumously, P O S T H U M O S U L Y. Posthumously work. And that was published after it. These are the, this is not a work of the Richard's creation. Now we are going to discuss about the life of the, his life. Because we, are, we can find out that Richard Cresho was born in 1613. Why should we here we do not mention the in London, in England? And therefore, we can say that. Yorkshire. The part of England was Yorkshire. Because in 1613 dear friend, what happened then? Because there was no any authentic evidence of his birth of date. Or even the name of his mother. There was there was no we have to send there the name uh, any authentic proof about the name of his mother. He was the very we can say the uh, he belonged to the he was born in and that's why you mention only the year. He was born in 1613 at London in England, a particular part of the Yorkshire. And that was a he was the son of a clergyman, William. The name of his father is William Cashew. The name of his father is William. William, William Cashew. William Cashew is a very well known, we can say that as a clergyman. Clergyman, dear friend, means padri. Clergyman means padri. He was a well, father was very well known. He can write down the famous template. Pamphlets, do you know what pamphlet means? Chopania. Articles against the Catholicism. His father, William Cashew, was a, on his time very, we can say, the prestigious clergyman. And William Crashow write down the, uh, we can say that a pamphlet, writing pamphlets or we can say article against the Catholicism. There were two, we can say that Catholicism and Puritan because his father belonged to the Puritan church. That's why he against the Catholicism and he belonged to the very prosperous family. Prosperous. Dear friend, there was prosperous family, Samrut. And a pita bo janita padriata, which are crash. And a pot in a namata janita that emne puritan kagi a pote puritan hata. Il emne puritan hoanate Catholic, the Roman Catholic na church hata, a ena virutma emne tikat muk eva lake and a chopania lakta hata. And then he was belonged to the his because Richard Cash married the sect two tribes. He, he married her twice. He over Lagna Karayata. That's why they were not fixed the name of Richard Cashew. Richard Cashew Matan ko Nam Pur Kabanati and there were no authentic Pura on the Temna Janwani Tarik Mun. But in year 1630. And he belonged to the very prosperous family. And he bought some root. And he can get the education in church school. He get education, Richard Cresho get education in church, church school. And, and that's what the, we can say that later on, and we can say that here we have find out, he, will, he can study in church schools. And then we have later on in his life, he become, he also follows the, we can say the footsteps of his father and become the clergyman in the Church of England and he, he got famous for the ritual reform in the church. He also famous in the road. After we can say that he became the Anglican cleric. Richard Cresho later on get the education and we 
can say the church school and later on he can move forward on the footstep of his father and becomes the clergyman and he play the role in reform emne clergyman padri banaya pachi church ma rahela dushano ne dharma ma rahela dushano ne dur karva mate ne emne paalo apyo hato and second time he wrote a religious poetry that was a literary works and after then during of the there was change in that we can say monarchy of england and in the place of charles one cromwell become the king and cromwell will put the trial on because cromwell was roman catholic and that's why he put the trial to the those are the puritan clergyman and that's why he was because suspended on in the in the post of his clergyman and richard play show run away and lived his life in an exile and some of the work was written in the exile and he had he died in 21st august 1649 dear friends extend gujarati so the richard play show church a shortly swiftly with them to do a એનો જન્મ સોળસો તેરમાં પણ એના કુલ જન્મની તારીખ કે માતાનું નામ ફિક્સ નથી કારણ કે જેરો એનો કોઈ આપણા પાસે પુરાવો ઓથેન્ટિક પ્રૂફ નથી સેકન્ડ થિંગ એ બહુ ફોસ્ફરસ ફોસ્ફરસ કે બીજી શબ્દ મિત્રો કેવો હોય તો એટલે સમૃદ્ધ એ પૈસાદાર ફેમિલીમાં જન્મ્યો હતો એના પિતા વિલિયમ ક્રેશો એ બહુ જાણીતા પ્યુરિટન ક્લર્જીમેન હતા પાદરી હતા અને એમને કેથોલિક ધર્મ વિરુદ્ધમાં પોતાના આર્ટિકલ અને ચોપડિયા માટે જાણીતા હતા એમને બે લગ્ન કર્યા હતા એટલે રિશાર્ડ કેશોનું માતાનું નામનો પણ કોઈ પુરાવો આપણી પાસે રિશાર્ડ કેશોએ શાળાનું શિક્ષણ અને એજ્યુકેશન એ ચર્ચ સ્કૂલમાં મેળવ્યું હતું અને પોતાના પિતાના પગલે એ પણ ક્લર્જીમેન બન્યા હતા પાદરી બન્યા હતા પાદરી બન્યા પછી એમણે સુધારણા માટેના પગલાં લીધ્યા હતા અને આ સમયગાળા દરમિયાન તેને પોતાના રિલિજિયસ વર્ક ધાર્મિક પુસ્તકો પણ લખ્યા હતા અને એ સમયગાળામાં રાજકીય રીતે ચાર્લ્સ ફર્સ્ટની જગ્યાએ રાજા તરીકે ક્રોમવેલ આવ્યો અને ક્રોમવેલે એ ક્રોમવેલ એ પોતે કેથોલિક હતો ક્રોમવેલ કિંગ ક્રોમવેલ એ કેથોલિક હતો એટલે એની પ્યુરિટન જે પણ પાદરી મેન હતા એમને ચર્ચમાંથી સસ્પેન્ડ કર્યા પોતાની પેસ્ટ પોસ્ટ ઉપરથી અને અહીંયા રો રિચર્ડ ક્રેશો પણ પદ પર હટાવાને કારણે એ છુપાઈને દેશવાળો નિકાલ ભોગવીને આ પરિસ્થિતિમાં એ મૃત્યુ પામ્યા હતા નાવ વી ડિસ્કસ એબાઉટ સી કોન્ટ્રીબ્યુશન રિચર્ડ કેશો ફર્સ્ટ મેજર કોન્ટ્રીબ્યુશન ઓફ ઇઝ ધેટ ઇઝ ધ બેટ આ ફિઝિકલ રિચર્ડ કેશો ઇઝ વન ઓફ ધ ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ કોન્ટ્રીબ્યુટર ઇન ધ ફિલ્ડ ઓફ મેટા ફિઝિકલ પોએટ્રી હી કોન્ટ્રીબ્યુટ લોટ ઇન ધ ફિલ્ડ ઓફ મેટા ફિઝિકલ પોએટ્રી and particular he was famous for in the particular in the metaphysical point he was famous for the his a devotional the theme of the metaphysical poetry of richard crasho is the devotional pursuit of divine love devic divine the devic prem devotional pursuit of rajua devotional દૈવિક પ્રેમ માટેની આધ્યાત્મિક રજૂઆત ઇટ વોઝ અ સેન્ટર થીમ ઓફ ધ રિચાર્જ કેશોઝ વર્ક દેર વોઝ ધ ડિવોશનલ પર્સ્યુટ ઓફ ધ ડિવાઇન લવ ધ સેન્ટર થીમ ઓફ થીમ ઓફ ધ પોએટ્રી ઓફ રિચાર્જ કેશ થર્ડ વન દેર વોઝ અ number of the work we can say there are the number of the written about that here we have to mention some of this okay crasho was many time he was compared with the he was happily crasho was happily set out to follow the george herbert g e o g e o r g e george herbert the richard crasho was happily followed the set happily set out to follow to follow the step of the george herbert then here other side we can say about that richard crashos draws a parallel between the physical beauties of nature and spiritual significance of existence 
which are scratches the ball applicable to sarcosism river step to the temper the light of the news and can in your nostro they they draw just it is called the draw a parallel line between the physical between physical between means like bahya sondari sarik sondari and physical beauty of nature there was surrounding beauty of the nature spring flying of the birds there was surrounding a good nature just we have to visit the mount abu or saputara there was a hill station they are the we can say that they surrounded by the natural beauty kudrati sondarya and spiritual significance of existence and sare sare adhyatmik astitva ni pane ni vat kari mostly his work makra to focus toward the love with small smaller grasses of life and profound the truth of religious mostly he can focus from in his work theme of his work we can say that he can love with the smaller grasses nanam nanu ji sukshu tanakla ghas kevay ene pan chaato hato and profounder of religious truth ane आध्यात्मिक सत्य न प्रोफाउंड स्थापक करते वाइल ही सीम्स फॉर एवर ऑक्युपाइड 